Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We back. We are together again. In fact, we never end from last night. From early this morning and last night. Praise the Lord. We welcome you this morning once again to Ever Increasing Kingdom of God Ministry International. And you know who I am. Apostle Donnell Wilson, pastor of Ever Increasing Kingdom of God. And this morning, we are blessed to be here. Seriously. We had an awesome time on last night when we celebrated with our brothers and sisters, declaring the word of God for the year of 2023, where we should be entering in. Not only that, we also um, was able to pray our new year. Thank God for blessing us to just be together, bringing in the beginning of a new era in our life. So God bless you this morning. We say Happy New Year to all. Praise the Lord. And may you continue to walk in victory. And be very open to receive the truth. Heavenly Father, thank you right once again, Lord, for us coming up into your presence in spirit and in truth. And we just continue to ask you, oh dear God, hallelujah. Start for me in the beginning. Praise the Lord. Welcome. Wow. Mm. Okay, now you Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, once again. Just glad to be here today. Awesome night, last night, and moving into the early morning hours. In fact, my brother said, attacking the witches hour. And that's what we did. We decorated, we declared the word of God over our family members. And I'm talking about the many member body of Christ. So it's a blessing to be here this morning. In 2023. And I thank God not only we went out with a blast. I mean personally, I'm gonna let the cat out the bag if y'all don't mind. We celebrated our 46th anniversary. And it was a blast. Thank God for that. Now Father, thank you so much. And continue to bless us as we begin to seek your word. For your word is a light unto a, 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 light, a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Your word is the truth. And I thank you. You are true. There is no other God like thee. No other God like thee. The Alpha. The Omega. The beginning and the end. Thank you that my life is centered in you. So that I have the total fullness of life. Our lives. I thank you for my good thing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And I'm so grateful you blessed me. To find a wife. To find a good thing. And Lord I thank you because of that woman. I obtained favor. From you. So I give you praise and glory. Bless everyone and stop their deaf ears that they may hear what the Spirit has to say to the church. And also enlighten their eyes of understanding. They may comprehend. I say that they may comprehend your word in our lives. In Christ Yeshua, holy name I pray. We say amen. amen. And amen. And amen. Praise the Lord. It's good to have my good thing with me this morning. You're not showing me. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. Keep talking. But we, uh, she's going to be joining us. But you know, last week, um, 
we dealt with that that um uh, hallelujah that the gospel and truth came by Christ Jesus. Christ is good. The gospel as true, I'll say it again, came by Christ Jesus. So we looked at John 1 17 and we ventured on up to John 18 and 37 and we saw that he was in the front of Pilate. And Pilate asked him a question. Pilate said, Are you then? I mean, are you a king then? And Jesus answered and said to him, You say that I am a king. For this reason I have been born. And for this reason I have come into the world. That I should testify to the truth. Hallelujah. That's so blessed. Our Lord and Savior is going to testify to the truth. We're going to see his testimony concerning the truth. He said, everyone who is of the truth listens to my voice. But Pastor, how are we going to hear his voice? We just did. He just spoke. And you hear what he said. So he said, everyone that is of the truth here is his voice. So we're moving on now to truth is in Christ. Point number 24. Yeah, we got a few more to go, but we're going to be through. Truth is in Christ. Can I say that again? Truth is in Christ. According to the book of Romans. Chapter 9 and verse 1. You have your Bibles turned there to Romans 9 and 1. Are we there yet? No. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The word of God says, I say the truth is in. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. Now you know you say, well, where this where this man coming from? Well, you gotta remember now. Paul was on the road to Damascus. And he had he had a direct contact with truth. Truth spoke with him. Want to know why Paul was pricking against the stone. In other words, the stone, the solid rock, Christ Jesus. So he asked the question. <laughs> and he made a statement that I am the way, the truth, and the life. Hello. So, Romans say, I say the truth in Christ. This is Paul speaking. I lie not. My conscience, my conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost because I got knocked out of my heart, off my horse. And I was confronted. And the Holy Ghost spoke. Amen. Amen. We have any comments? Are you, are you there yet? No. Oh, okay. Well, read for me. Okay. First Timothy chapter one. I mean, First Timothy chapter two and verse seven. First Timothy. Two and seven. Yes, ma'am. For the mystery of the iniquity do it already work. Uh -huh. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. Praise the Lord. I got to make sure I gave you the right thing. 
Oh, I'm sorry. That's the wrong answer. That's no. Okay. First Timothy chapter. I mean, yeah, two and verse First one. Timothy chapter two. Not like that. Okay. Chapter seven. I mean, I'm sorry, baby. I'm getting you the wrong thing. Uh, chapter two and verse First seven. Chapter. Yes, okay. ma'am. Read. Hallelujah. Where unto I am ordained a preacher and an apostle. Come on. I speak the truth in Christ uh -huh. and lie not. Uh -huh. A teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity. Hello. And I thank God that I have that same confession to you today. Hallelujah. That same confession to you. Hallelujah. That where unto I am ordained. A preacher and an apostle. Glory to God. I speak the truth in Christ and lie not. Now we just saw that same thing. Hallelujah. In Romans. Hallelujah. Where Paul said, start now. I say the truth in Christ. We're looking at truth in Christ. And if we're going to speak the truth, we got to be in Christ. That's why we got to take his yoke upon him, us, and follow him. Follow means to learn of him. Learn his ways. That's our responsibility. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if we get it in our hearts that we are supposed to be putting on the whole image of Christ, of God. Because we were made in his image and his likeness. So therefore, we got to learn of him, the Father. The love the Father had, but that's a learn. A learn. You got to learn this. You got to hear the teachings by reading the word of God. Amen. Amen. Turn to uh, John chapter 5 and verse 33. The gospel of John chapter 5 and verse 33. We're going to another area concerning Christ. And that is that John bears witness to truth. You know I say? John bears witness to truth. Hallelujah. This is good. I love the Lord. I love his word. I have no doubt that the word of God is true. It's declared. John chapter 5 verse 33. Are you there? Yes, and it reads, He sent unto John, and he bare witness unto the truth. I want you to read that again. Take your time. Ye sent unto John, yes. and he bare witness yes. unto the truth. Hallelujah. He said, You sent unto John, and he bare witness unto the truth. John bear witness. When you hear what John said concerning Christ Yeshua, but John bear witness about Christ even when he was in his mother's womb. Where say he leaped when he heard about Jesus, the conception about Jesus. Can we read? Um... We're going to read all the way down. Leading up, yes. Yes. So we get a fuller understanding. Amen. Of what the conversation is okay. about. Okay. Go ahead on. You Starting go there. Verse 30. Amen. Um, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just. Because I seek not my own will, uh -huh. but the will of the Father which have sent me. That's powerful. That's powerful. 
That's where we are. Remember I said, we need to be seeking him, seeking his word, seeking all that Christ is saying concerning him. So this is powerful because he came from his father. Now, Yahweh is his father, Yahweh our father, because we receive the truth. Go ahead on. He says, um, I seek not my own will, yes, but the will of the Father which have sent me. Uh -huh. If I bear witness of myself, yes, my witness is not true. All right. All right. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay. There is another that beareth witness of me. Uh huh. And I know that the witness which he witnessed of me is true. Yes. Ye sent unto ye sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth. Yes. He sure did. Yes. What chapter are we in? John 5? Yes. In um, the Gospel of um, Matthew chapter 4, where um he bear witness. Uh, when he baptized Jesus, and he says that he was Matthew or John? Matthew. Okay. Is that Matthew chapter 4? We finish see. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Chapter 4. And Jesus was led up in this, to the wilderness. 3. Yeah. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lightning. Mm. Him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, mm. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. So John was his witness. Yes, ma'am. But I'm going to share some I'm more with you. Go ahead, on. I'm, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're going to see in here, you start with verse 33, just like you did. Okay. And then we're going to look at 36 and 39. Read that for me. I'm reading. John uh -huh. chapter 5. Oh, John chapter 5. Verse 36. 36. And through 36. Let me get it right now because I won't lie. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 30, John chapter 36 through 39. Read on. 39. Amen. 36. But I have greater witnesses than that of John mm -hmm. for the works which the Father have given me to finish the same works that I do bear witness of me that the Father have sent me. Uh -huh. And the Father himself which have sent me have borne witness of me. Right. You have neither mm -hmm heard his voice at any time well nor seen his shape amen and ye have not his word abiding in you mm -hmm. from whom he have sent him you believe not hallelujah search the scriptures yes for in them you think you have eternal life yes and they are they which testify of me hallelujah what we see here is that they are four witnesses yes, to is. testify mm -hmm. about our Lord and Savior. Amen? Amen. John said here, I mean, the Lord said, the Lord Jesus meant that the Jews would call the witness untrue. They the ones going to call untrue. You understand me? Okay. Who were the Jews? The priests, the Pharisees, the scribes, those were the Jews, original Hebrew Israelites. Move right along. Listen to what he said. Glory to God. For the law required that there be two witnesses before any evidence could be counted true. You find that in Numbers chapter 35 and 30. You find out also in our courts in the, in the legal system. Amen. You need some witnesses. Yes, you got to have witnesses. You got to have those witnesses. Yes, yes Lord. I'm sorry, what did you say the term? Deuteronomy chapter 35. Numbers, I'm sorry. Numbers. 35 and 30. And I'm going to read 
Deuteronomy 17 and 6. Numbers 35 and verse. Uh, Numbers 35, verse 30. 30. Okay. We point back to some witnesses back in the old covenant. The old testament with Jews testifying. I said Numbers chapter what now? 30? 35. 35. 35. I'm going there. Let me catch up. Praise the Lord. This is some good stuff here. Mm. Go ahead and read this. Numbers chapter 35 and verse 30 reads, Whoso killeth any person, the murderer shall be put to death by the mouth of witnesses. Uh -huh. But... I mean, yes, but one witness shall not testify against any person to cause him to die. Amen. Got to have more than one witness. Wow. You got to have more. That's why that jury box be sitting up there with a whole bunch of folks. And so that's why they were all gathered around his cross when he was. Yes. Am, am I, am I, Go ahead on. Run your mouth. Run your mouth. Because I don't want to overstep. Overstep. You can't overstep. Okay. All you can do is share the truth. Okay. When when he hung up on the cross, that's why he had witnesses. Mm -hmm. His mother and John and all of them around. Yes. Him, yes. Witness. Yes. To his death. And yes. Then when they went to the tomb. The women were there bearing witness to his resurrection. Come on now. Oh, hallelujah. There were more than one, wasn't it? Yes. Come on more now. Than Praise one. the Lord. More than one. More than one. Glory to God. Let's go over to Deuteronomy chapter 17. Deuteronomy chapter 17. 17. And 17. And we're going to be looking at verse 6. Let me know when you're ready. I am going to actually read from the top. Talking about idolaters be, to be stoned. So you mean, See, you start with one? Chapter 17 and verse 1. Okay. I'm reading all the way down. All right. So, first of all, we see that it's saying an offering must be perfect. Okay? Okay. He says, Thou shalt not sacrifice unto the Lord thy God any bullock or sheep wherein is blemish. Mm -hmm. Or any evil favoredness, mm -hmm. for that is an abomination unto the Lord thy God. That's why he said, I beseech you, therefore, mercy. Paul said that mm -hmm. by the mercies of God that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. You can't bring nothing up there trying to give it to God and you have not confessed and repented of your sins. Because mm. that offering got to be holy. That's why he said, leave your offering at the altar mm -hmm. and go get that thing right with your brother or your sister that has been offended. Mm -hmm. Then you come back mm -hmm. and present it. Mm -hmm. Same thing he's saying right here. You can't do that because that's an abomination under God. Lord, how many don't know? How many children out there don't know? Grown children. This is a requirement started way back in the old covenant. And it's telling you in the new covenant about the witnesses. Let me go ahead on. If there be found among you <clears throat> within thy gates, which the Lord thy God giveth thee, man or woman, that has worked wickedness, wrought wickedness in the sight of Yahweh, thy God. Glory to God. For God know my heart, but you stand to do in wickedness. I'm going to move on. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Which, do, which has worked wickedness in the sight of Yahweh, thy God, the Lord, thy God. In transgressing his covenant, going against his covenant, mm -hmm. breaking his covenant that you're supposed to be, quote unquote, under the law. But you know, you're breaking it. You stink. If you could have did the whole law, your ancestors could have did.
did it, he wouldn't have to come in and make up another and, and start a whole new testament. Where the law is wrapped up in Christ Yeshua. I got to move on. And has gone and served other gods <clears throat> and worshiped them. Either the sun or the moon or any of the hosts of heaven, which I have not commanded. Oh, so he don't want us to seek knowledge. He don't want us to seek our future from the stars and the moons. He doesn't want us to worship the sun. He doesn't want us to worship the moon. He doesn't want to look up to his creation. Come on now. But he wants us to look to the creator Come. of the stars, the moon, Amen. and the sun. Amen. But some people got to read their horoscope. And they understand they reading horror. <laughs> Putting yourself under the bondage of horror. You taking a look at the horror in that the, the quote unquote supposed to be coming in your life. And how many of those presidents over the United States? Oh, glory to God! Their horror. Oh, glory to God! Seek the stars. Hallelujah! For for their wisdom and guidance and. Uh, that is not just the presidents, but you got these pastors. They're going over there and they want to bow down and kiss the Pope's ring and they believe that he has a stick. is said, has been said. I cannot say I've seen it for myself, but over there in the Vatican, they have a telescope. And that one of the a priest going to be watching through that 24 7. There's a priest coming in and change seating and look through that. That's their job. So they can see when Jesus comes. See the things that are working up there in the heavenlies. And that's the way they're supposed to be God in their flock. But I'm yeah. going to tell you the God in truth. Mm -hmm. Seek ye first the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Fret not thyself because of evil do. And guess what? Sufficient is the day thereof. You don't have to worry about tomorrow. You just serve the Lord today in spirit and in truth. I got to read on. <clears throat> I, I like this part here. I'm, I'm going to paraphrase somebody. And if truth be told, no, say, and it be told, mm -hmm. and thou has heard of it, and required diligently, and behold, it be true. And the thing certain that such abomination is worked in Israel. Go to God, that's powerful. And I told you, this word is the same yesterday. Today and forever. So yeah. that's where you working at, baby. You in the wrong area. Go ahead on. So if um, one of the laws for the children of Israel was that they were not to worship other gods, Amen. They were not to worship the sun, the moon, or the host of heaven. Yes, come on. And if it was found to be true that they are. Yes, come on now. Come on. Go ahead on. And if it's bound to be true. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Verse 5. Go to God. You want me to read it? Or? You can go ahead and read it. Then shall you bring forth that man or that woman which have committed that wicked thing. Come on. And to thy gates, yes. Even that man or that woman shall be stoned. Excuse me, that man or that woman, and shall stone them with yes. stones till they die. Come on now, verse six. You did not play. Verse six. No, God didn't play. You go ahead and we can play with that. We can uh, expound on that. God did not have no pity on a sin sick nation, a person, his people. His people. 
He wasn't concerned about them folks out no, there outside, outside of the kingdom. Exactly. But he's concerned about the kingdom citizens. One he has ordained is his. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Lord. Verse 6, read it. Because that's where we're going to. Verse 6. At the mouth of two witnesses uh -huh. or three witnesses. Uh -huh. Shall he that is worthy of death yes. be put to death? Yes. But at the mouth of one witness, uh -huh. he shall not be put to death. Hello, baby. Hello. And I think Song of Solomon said something to that effect. He was saying, um, you just don't you just don't hear one side of a matter. Yes. You have to hear the a whole matter. matter. Come on with me. Before you make a judgment. Just because one person came and told you something, mm -hmm. you should not take that and run with it. Yes. Get the, get the counsel of the whole man. Call them all together. Yes, yes. Send them yes. all together. Hallelujah. And then hear the matter. Yes. 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 It's yes. so good. You just cannot go by the mouth of one no. person. No, you can't. put somebody to death. No, you can't. Based on that one person said. You need more. Amen. Than that. Now watch this here. Christ. Mm -hmm. He had four. Mm. Christ had four witnesses. Mm. First, the number one was John the Baptist. Mm. We read that. Mm -hmm. Verse 33. Now look at chapter 1 in John and verse. Help me hold it over. 34. John, the John, John, chapter 1. That's the first one. First witness with John. And then read chapter 1 and verse 34. John chapter 1 uh -huh. and verse 34 reads 1 and 34. Yes. And I saw yes. and bear record uh -huh. that this is the Son of God. Amen. That's the first witness. John bear witness. Amen. I want you to read. We're going to see the second word, okay. the second witness, okay. which is the Father. Okay. The Father gave him, verse 36. In the same chapter? Yes, ma'am. 136. Yes, ma'am. No, 636. I'm sorry. 636. Yeah, go there. Okay. I'm trying to write it as I'm. That's all right. We ain't got no more time. We got time. Glory to God. Okay. John 636 reads, But I say unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. No man. John chapter 6. Oh Lord, I'm in the world. I am in a whole nother place. And it's amazing because it talks about another witness <laughs> glory to God okay go ahead on baby and you was reading what now John, John chapter, chapter 6 and verse 36 amen okay go ahead on I did I read it want me to read it again yes but I say unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not Okay, here and uh, we also see in verse 36 of chapter 5, I'm sorry, where John says, I mean when Christ said, but I have a greater witness than that of John. Mm. A greater I got witness. a greater witness of that of John. For the works which the Father has given me to finish the same works that I do. Bear witness of me yes. that the Father yes. has sent me. That's right. It's just so sad there are people trying to deny Christ. And they don't recognize that the Father is the one responsible for Christ. Yes. Yes. 
So if you're going to deny Christ, you're going to deny him. Yes. Come on now. Because like he's saying, I, I do nothing of my own. No. I'm not, it's not about me. That's it's right. It's all about him. Yes. It is not about me. Amen. But they make it about him. Yes. But it's not about Come on. him. Say it, he does not take no credit, no glory. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 This is just some good stuff here. All right. We'll see witness number two. Let's look at witness number three. Okay. Same page. We're going to see who witness number three is. Start with verse 37 and begin to read. 37. John chapter 6 and verse 37. No, 537. Oh, we're back. We in, we in 6. 537. Yeah, I sent you there by accident. We're talking about witnesses. Okay. Read it. John chapter 5, verse 37. Read. And the Father himself. Say that again. And the Father himself. One more time. And the Father himself. Come on. Which have sent me mm. have borne witness of me. Read that part again. Have borne witness of me. One more time. Who? Have borne witness. Who of borne me. witness of him? The, the Father. Father. Mm. You better listen. This is for real. John bad witness and poor Mo bad witness. John the Father. And now, the last witness. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Did you read 38, 37, and 38? 37. No, I didn't. Read 38. Um, Five. You read 37. Okay, yes. Well, finish all 37. Read it all over again. 37, 38. And the Father himself which have sent me uh -huh. have borne witness of me. Amen. You have neither heard his voice mm. at any time nor seen his shape. Hello. And you have not heard his word about and you have not his word abiding in you. Well. For whom he have sent him you believe not. Come on, baby. That's the biggest mistake that a man can do is not believe that God gave his only begotten son. That's the, the biggest problem that the Jews have. Yes. He's a stumbling block for them. Yes. It's hard for them to receive Jesus Christ. And then you have so many people want to deny him and say that's a white man Jesus that's a come white on, man come on. Jesus, that's a white man that mm -hmm. but it's not about Jesus it's about, Hallelujah. it's about the father working in and through Amen. Jesus I'm a, I'm gonna turn right quick over to first John it goes right along with what we're talking about here first John chapter uh uh chapter 5 and verse 10 Thank you, Lord. We truly thank you for your word. Lead and guide us through your word. You you got it? Verse Sister, John, chapter 5 chapter and five verse, verse 10. 10 read. read. He that believeth on the Son. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to do you like that. I don't want to do you like that. I got to back this thing up mm -hmm. just a little bit. You hear what I say? All right. Start with verse 7. 1 John chapter 5 and verse 7. Uh -huh. Okay. For there are three that beareth record in heaven. Where is he bearing record, record at? In heaven. Now where did John, where was John oh, at? Hallelujah. Where was John at? John was on this earth. I got to stop right there. Because Come on. The Lord was Speaking this thing to me. Hallelujah. As was as, as before you turned over, he was showing me this. Yes. In my spirit. Uh -huh. There are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, mm. the Word, uh. and the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. And these three are one. I know well, 
your mm. fourth one was going to be the word. I'll say the word. Yes, 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 yes. The word. Verse 8. And there are three that beareth witness in earth. Yes. The spirit, mm. the water, mm. and the blood. Come on. And these three agree in one. Come on now. Come on. Read on. Verse 9. If we receive the witness of men, uh -huh. the witness of God is greater. Hallelujah. For this is the witness of God, which he have testified of his son. Amen. He Amen. That believeth on the son of God, mm. have the witness in himself. Hallelujah. He that believeth not God, have made him a liar. Because he believed not the record that God gave of his son. Glory to God. Glory to God. They Do you see? See him. Do you see it for yes. yourself? Yes. Ain't, ain't nobody told you this. You heard God speaking through his word. These written holy words of God. God is talking to you. That, oh God, this is so good. I can't run through it. I want to go ahead and move along, move on, move on, dot com. But I can't move on just yet. Because the word of God says in the book of John. That is so powerful. I have to stop right there. Glory, hallelujah. He that believeth on the Son of God uh -huh. have the witness in himself. That's it. Do you know how many people deny the Son of God Amen. and do not have the witness in them? Mm. But they say that if we receive the witness of men, yes. we receive the witness of men, yes. but they don't receive the witness yes. of God. They don't have that within themselves. Yes. Amen. They just have religion. Hallelujah. As usual. As usual. Yes. You don't have that. Yes. He that believeth on the Son of God have the witness in himself. Uh -huh. He that believeth not yes. God yes. have made him a liar. Yes. Because he believeth not the record that God gave of his son. Amen. You don't believe the record. Right. You don't believe God. Mm. God gave his son. You don't believe it. I don't no. believe in that Christ. That's a that's a white I white man religion. That. White man religion. No, ain't no God sitting no no baby. Ain't, ain't God, <laughs> ain't ain't God, God, put God baby. Baby. Come on. That, that's that's the that's the slave Bible. Yeah. They, that, yeah. That's the one they used to. No, it's not. It's not the slave Bible. Yes. The, it was the slave master's interpretation of the Bible. Amen. But then, when you educated yourself and learned to read, yes. you found that your slave master was a liar. And Amen. He was using the scripture to Amen. Teach him about it. Amen. Amen. And when you learned, yeah. he gave him a battle. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yes. So stop saying that, uh -huh. that that's the. That white man, like that Bible, that 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 white man, man Bible. You. you know better than you that. Do the lie. You you learn to read. Yes. He tried to keep you from reading because he didn't want you to read and learn the truth for yourself. That's it. And you should know the truth, and the truth shall make, make that's you why you're free. free. Because the truth, truth. made you free. Hallelujah. Not some president, Hallelujah. not some Washington or whoever. Hallelujah. Whoever. The Hallelujah. truth that you learn in God's word is what made, made you, you free. free. Because you Blue. learn to read. Yes. To keep you from it. Yes. You, mean you want to give them all the glory by denying them by. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You want to stop reading it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let me go. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> we got work to do here. <laughs> yes, we do. You ain't sorry. <laughs> stop claiming that one. Ooh, Shoot. That's the power of his love. Mm. That's causing not only you to be changed. But it's changing them folks. Out. Yes, they have to. It has it's to. changing our brothers and sisters they have who are see. connected with yes. us this morning. They have to see the truth. And yes. They have to stop getting all of these sermons that you're yes. teaching them. Yes. It's your fault. You need to change. Yes. You need to do this. Right, your attitude, right, right, right. Your this, yes. your that. Yes. So some of the stuff that they be putting out there and they just be receiving it. It's like, come on now. Y'all Let me tell you something. Stephen wanted to see that message. Hello. Hello. Glory to God. Mm. 
if they still live in them five bond boys that used to sing, can see it ain't nothing right about it. Glory to God. I'm just telling y'all the truth now. Oh, That's what we are doing. We're exposing the devil. Because he was a liar from the beginning. You remember we read that? When we first started opening up and, and, and ministering to everyone out there, we first let you know that the devil was a liar from the beginning. And like you were saying earlier, how many of them have went over there and kissed the Pope's ring? What's the purpose of you going over there kissing his ring? Mm -hmm. There is something behind that you going over there and kissing his ring. Yes. That's saying something right there. Amen. Your allegiance to the Pope. Yes. But then you want to come back and you... Come on, sister. That's all right. Your allegiance to the Pope. That's all right. Not to God. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Not to God. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. Let me read. Uh, I want you to read once again. 38. And then we're going to see the next witness when you go into verse 39. But read 38 and lead into 39. Back over in John chapter 5. No, John chapter 5. I'm sorry. John chapter 5. Mm. Yes, you're welcome. John. Thank you, Lord. John chapter 5 and verse. We'll start with 38. 38. And read 39. And ye have not his word abiding in you. Mm -hmm. For whom he have sent him, you believe not. Right on. Search the scriptures. For in them, back it up, back it, back it, back it, back, back. Oh, oh. Read the first three words. Search the scriptures. Say it again. Search the scriptures. My people perish for a lack of knowledge. You want to be spoon fed the word by somebody, but you don't take the time. The pour the cereal in your bowl and the milk and go ahead on and start eating the sincere milk, the sincere word of God, so that you can get up off that milk and start eating the meat of, uh, of the word of God. But so, he, go ahead he, on. He's saying search the scriptures. Yes, he said. And you know what? That's what... Uh, um, that's what they do. A lot of them do that. They're searching the scriptures. Mm -hmm. You know, they can quote the scriptures and they can search the scriptures and they look it through the scriptures and they searching, searching, searching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -mm. They're looking, searching the scriptures, looking. Amen. Because he says, why? For in them, you think you have eternal life. Right. We don't. And they are they. Uh-huh. Which testify of me. That's and the witness. That's what they deny. The scriptures are the next They witness. be searching the scriptures looking for Israel. And yeah, Israel yeah, 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 yeah. But they don't understand mm. that those scriptures are testifying of his coming. Yes. Of a new government is coming. Amen. Of a new king is coming. Hallelujah. From the bloodline of David. Yes. From the bloodline, if you really want to go back, of Adam. Yes, yes. And that way the blood was first <laughs> used when he had to do a sacrifice to put some clothes on Adam and Eve. That was a testimony of Christ. Yes. Because now we clothe ourselves in his right. And that's what we do. Yes. We show you from Genesis to Revelation. Amen. Christ. Yes, ma'am. Because the scriptures. From Genesis to Revelation, they testify. Uh -huh. They tell you about come Christ. Come on, come on. All of it tells you about yes, Christ. Yes, yes. They tell you about all this other stuff that man has made it out to be. Uh huh. Come on now. No, they, from Genesis to Revelation, they testify about the Messiah. They testify about Christ. Amen. Even Amen. The, even the tabernacle that God built. All Christ. All Christ. All Christ. All Christ. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Hallelujah. I'm going to read this one more time and we're moving on. John 5 33 said, You have sent to John and he has testified to the truth. Yes, yes. 
Yes. So you sent to John, and we went to John, and John today is still testifying of truth. Yes. Glory to God. We're going to move on to point number 25. And that's why even, um, hallelujah, Herod. Yes. Yes. He was sleeping with his brother's wife. His wife was sleeping. Yes. Yes. He yes. was sleeping with his brother's wife, I believe. Yes, 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 yes. And so he kept saying that that was wrong for him to be doing that. That was wrong for him to be doing that. Yes. She got tired of hearing Yes. That. So because the king lusted after his her daughter, old daughter, yes. The queen, or she used it, she used her daughter to demand the head of John the Baptist. Amen. Thinking that that would shut his mouth. Right. But it didn't. John still He's talking. Still talking. Still today. talking still today. today. Amen. <laughs> He's still talking still today. Still talking today. Glory to God and testify. Hallelujah. There you, you my wife. Because <laughs> this ain't script here. It's the Holy Ghost. Y'all heard it said at the same yeah. time. Hallelujah. Testify. <laughs> Good. I wasn't looking at her. We started looking at each other after we said it. Why? <laughs> the power of the Holy Ghost is in this place. We are up under the power of the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost lead and guide us into all truth. Yes, he does. Believe what I say. I mean, believe what the word of God is saying. So, let's move on to a minimum minutes ago. Oh, I got six minutes. I can play this for good. Mm. Truth, number point 25. Okay. Truth is according to godliness. Huh? It's according to godliness. Let's go to Titus. Chapter 1 and verse 1. Thank you, Jesus. Titus chapter 1 and verse 1. Credentials is being presented by Paul once again. And Paul is talking about how the church should be organized. Paul is serving of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, a servant of Yahweh, and of an apostle of Yeshua, Jesus, according to the faith of God's elect, glory to God, mm -hmm. and the acknowledging of the truth, which is after Godliness. Mm. Well, look at this. Let's look at it just a little bit. Paul gives his address. And he says he's the apostle of Jesus Christ according, according to the faith of God's elect. Paul worked in the office of an apostle. Are y'all seeing that here? I like the way he always have, in some places, he have two titles. Yes. He calls himself a servant. Yes. You know. Yes. And, you know, that we not, nowadays we, we just don't want to use that. That's so like servant. We ain't no, you know, servant. Could you equate that to being a servant? Slave. A Come servant. on now. But he says that he's a servant of God. He serves God. Amen. Okay. Amen. And an apostle yes. of Jesus Christ. Yes. He's a servant of God and he's an apostle, apostle of, of Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. See, mm -hmm. that's why I say I don't listen to people talking about ain't no more apostles today. Well, if that's the case, Jesus wouldn't be talking about me. Paul wouldn't be talking about it right here. But you know, Paul we're still up on the AD. Yes, after Paul, death, Paul did go around to help establish churches, but he never had one under his own. That's right. 
Well, That's well, right. He never had one. He never had Amen. the Apostle Paul ministry. Right. You know, the big ministry and he have a dome and he'd see yeah, 20,000 yeah, yeah. folks. Yes, he yes. never had that. Amen. He just went around establishing. establishing. Yes. Okay. Okay. Anyway. That's good. Paul said, according to the faith of God's elect, it's your faith that God puts you in position. According to your faith. Amen. Because um, earlier the Holy Spirit was speaking to me that I was, Paul wasn't ordained by no man. No. When he received his calling, he, he said, he, I didn't go to a school. No. I didn't go to a seminary. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't go. I didn't go to and get no certificate and no, come no, on, no come ordination on. papers. Right. He didn't do that. No. And he and he was given. His assignment was to three um, people. Right, right, right. I don't want to call them because I don't want to get into it. Nation. Place. Yeah, it was to three. He had a calling to go out and preach the word to three. Three nations. Yes. That's right. Yes. But, he, but, you know, nowadays, you know, they want all of this stuff. Where's your papers? Where's your, where's yes, 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 you know, yes, yes. Oh, you on the internet? Oh, you on, you on FaceTime? Oh, you on Facebook? Wait, where your church? Where you, you, you need, no, you, no, mm -hmm. no. Come on now. No. No. See, that's man. Yes. Well, we hear the word says also, because he's speaking to my ear. Stand there, boom. In the liberty. Stand fast in the liberty where Christ, by Christ has set you free. Made you free. free. And made you free. free. And, and this is the liberty he gives you to operate in. That's why you have people operate in certain areas. areas. Exactly. That's right. They have certain callings. Amen. Know? That's right. The, 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 I can't claim somebody else that exactly. may have the gift of healing in their hands. Exactly. They lay hands on people and they recover. Yes. I can't say that. That's right. But I know I have been used in that ministry as yes. well. Mm -hmm. See, because I have witnessed. Oh, I witnessed you Amen. laying your hands on people. They're I a witness. have witnessed. Praise the Lord. It. I'm sorry. I've seen it. Amen. I, I, I remember a lady. She was an old lady. She was sick, and the daughter called us to the house, and yes. her mama was laying in a little in the in the family room. She was laying on a little cot, and then she was just she was sick, and you just took your hands, and you just laid your, and she said, "Oh, they're so warm." Your hands, Glory to God. Your hands, and she just like she just came alive. I witnessed. Praise that. the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. Witness. That. that was somebody I worked she, with at Temple John. I believe. I believe that was. It's all brown skin. Her like. daughter used to work with me in the uh, fitness center. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, yes. yes I know what you're yes, talking about. Now. Yes. yes, yes. I witnessed. I, Amen. I witnessed people coming and talking to you, sharing their Glory to God. At personal. Personal, personalized with yes, me. Yes. And I'm standing there like, how can people just talk to you? J just just start sharing with you. Yeah, yeah. But you know, that that was the power of God. That's you it. Know, that's you know, I, I I guess people just trust you because they seem they just can sense the presence of God. Amen. So Amen. I agree they, with they, that. Yes. They they just feel like they can share because yes. and they're going anywhere. So, you know. One thing about it, I done had folks who try to get me off of this platform. Yes. And God has not spoken to me to leave this platform. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to stay here. Amen. Right on this internet and doing what God has called us to do. I am not going to be able to. I want to. Let's see if they, they allow me to go over just a. Uh, 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 just a little bit. Okay. Titus one one. Mm -hmm. We read that. Yeah. Acknowledging truth, which is after godliness. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. So, see, and, and quickly look at three sixteen, and we have to realize truth is after godliness. It can't come no other way. And if it's in your life, you can operate in what God has called you to operate in, because you are abiding by. Faith in the truth. I gotta move on. You got it, three sixteen. Oh no, that's first Timothy three sixteen. Help me hold it go. First Timothy three sixteen. Oh, it's first Timothy? Yes, ma'am. 
I be reading too fast. I read myself while I was directing. First come thinking about the time. Read 16. Okay, I got it. Timothy 3. 3.16. Yeah, yeah, you're not going to yeah. You're not going to do it. Three, first Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16 reads, And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. Come on now. God was manifested in the flesh. Hello. Justified in the spirit. Hello. Seen of angels. Glory. Preached unto the Gentiles. Yes. Believed on in the world. Received up into glory. Hallelujah. Here we go. Godliness. Godliness takes you up into the presence of God. I mean, yeah, we all will stand before the judgment seat of Christ. But by you being faithful to the word of God, that's, you know, I often say, you want to be able to look behind you and see a trail so far behind you. Of the godly works that you did the through word. faith in the word of God. Because that's all you can take with you. That's it. You can't take your car. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. You can't take that jag. Yes. You, you, you can't take your boat. Mm -hmm. you, you can't take your, 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 your the uh, house. Yeah. Uh, uh, 100.5 million house. You can't take You can't take that bank account. Nope. You cannot take none of that stuff with you. The only thing you can take with you are, is your good Works. Now I want to change that to glory Because mm. we go from glory to glory To glory to glory to God mm -hmm. Tell you something Them brothers been writing some powerful songs When they were younger <clears throat> Fred Hammond and all them He came up with the glory To glory to glory and that's all we can present back to him is his glory. Mm. That's what you're going to see behind you. Mm. All the glory you gave out to somebody else of God that he impregnated you with. And that's the mindset of, wow, you're thinking about it, of, um, what do you call that? The uh, pyramid thing. Yes, yes, yes. You yes. do, and then you get two more people to do. And yes, 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 yes. And then they get, and this all good. But your good works. For Amen. The glory. Amen. For the people that you touch one soul, and then that person went out and they touch five souls. Hallelujah. And that person and those five went out and they touch uh, a, a, a hundred souls. Yes. And, and then that hundred went out and they touch ten thousand souls. Yes. But see, it all stems back to you and what you did. You, you know, did. I can't read these scriptures right now okay. because I'll be doing too much injustice. To run through these scriptures because we're still dealing with godliness. Mm -hmm. And I have three more areas we're going to look at. So we just want to be able to let you know that we will be expounding more on truth. And as you saw today, truth is in Christ. And Christ is the truth. We saw that today. And we saw also that Christ is sure. Was full of truth. Amen. So. We are going to continue. To look at the word of God. Because we are going to leave from. According to godliness. And then we are going to look at truth. Is sanctifying. It will set you apart. That's how powerful truth is. Jesus. Mm. Set you apart from the rest. Mm. So until we come back together again, let's pray. You have anybody did any special requests on you? Say like, praise the Lord. Did you get anybody want special requests? Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Well, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your word today. And we cherish your word, oh God. And we thank you for blessing us and having faith in us to deliver your word. To deliver your word without blemish or without speckle or without any fault, but glorifying you in everything we say and do. So, Lord, bless everyone out there. Touch their lives. If any among them is sick, hallelujah. If, if any among them is sick, I just pray that they will hit us up 
and we will join together and link up with them and have prayer. Also, Father, I thank you for all those that are of my family, blood family, the blood of Jesus family. I pray for my daughter. I pray for her family that they had a blessed time praising and bringing the new year in, glorifying you. I pray for all of the people that is connected with us in some kind of way. Thank you, Lord, for using us for your glory. And Father, we're going to be so careful, so careful to give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor yes. in Christ's holy name. Yes. Now, praise the Lord, we just say to you, Lord, mm. Let the words of my mouth yes. and the meditation of my heart yes, yes. be acceptable in yes. your sight, O oh great God, Yahweh. Yes. Yes. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, my Redeemer, my strength. And my strength. Oh, Amen. 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 Thank you once again for being with us and remember to walk in victory. Hallelujah. Thank you.